Hello rugby fans and welcome back to the channel. Today I am here with some more news on Rugby24. Basically I haven't recorded for about three weeks due to the Easter holidays, having a little holiday myself over in Cornwall and I'll, obviously I stocked up the channel with episodes of Rugby Union Team Manager, the World League and the usual shorts content uh, to keep you guys occupied in that time but I am back now ready to record and there is some news for Rugby24 that I would like to bring to you guys today to keep you updated so before we get into it please do drop a like if you enjoy this content leave a comment down below let me know what you think of this latest news and how excited are you for september to get your hands on this game and of course if you haven't already and you want to stay up to date with all things rugby 24 and rugby video games then please do move that subscribe button so before I show off an article that I've come across uh, with some snippets of information, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just going to start with the big one. Ultimate team on Rugby24. Is it going to happen? Can it happen? Now in the three weeks that I've not recorded, Big Ant Studios have announced some big stuff in regards to their other sports video games. So AFL 23, which is coming out soon. They've announced that they'll be doing Cricket 24 this summer as well to coincide with the Ashes. And both of those games in those announcements seem to hint at an ultimate team style mode in Big Ant Studios games this year. I mean, it's not necessarily mean that Rugby 24 is going to have it, but AFL, they haven't done that for many years and it's a brand new game. Rugby, they haven't done that for many, many years and it's a brand new game this year. So I'm seeing huge similar similarities between the games coming out and what Rugby 24 could have in it. Is this the start of Big Ant Studios Ultimate Team like mode across the Big Ant Studios catalogue, the tennis games, the AFL games, the cricket games, the rugby games. It would make sense. I mean, they have the community creations across all of their games. Bring in the ultimate team style mode. Now, it's been hinted in the Cricket 24 announcement that it's going to be called something like Dream Team or along those sorts of lines, but it's very, very vague. AFL, there's a little bit more news. They have got some legends signed up uh, as well, I believe. So there'll be legendary players involved in this Dream Team Ultimate Team style mode. Um, and my opinion is really that it would be a fantastic addition. Now, I've never been a huge, huge fan of the Ultimate Team microtransaction style of mode. I mean, I've had my moments with FIFA like most people have. Um, have played the game, got sort of hooked, addicted, played it for a year or two, um, sort of got really involved, spent way too much money that I should have done, um, and yeah, had some fun for a few seasons, but I've not really gone back to it recently. I think it is sort of gambling for a younger generation where they're enticing you to spend money on Ultimate Team, buying players, buying packs, things like that. Hopefully... You know, it's not ridiculously expensive if Big Ant Studios do decide to put these modes in. Of course, Rugby 20, uh, Rugby 22 have similar sort of modes, but it's not really pushed or promoted as Ultimate Team. And of course, without all of the license and the proper players, it doesn't really make any sense. So we look to Rugby 24 and how fantastic would it be to have that ultimate team mode, as well as everything else, with legendary players, with Jonah Lomu, Johnny Wilkinson, players like that, Dan Carter, uh, to name a, name just but a few. And it would be really, really good. Whether I, Of course, I would get stuck into it for the content on the channel and to bring you guys all that sort of stuff, but it wouldn't be a necessity for me. I'm more about needing a big, robust career mode with realism, with fun gameplay, but of course it would be a fantastic addition and I certainly would play it. And to me, with these announcements on cricket and AFL, 
I think it would probably be coming to Rugby 24 as well. So it's something certainly to look forward to. And the big word that I always use in terms of rugby video games is longevity. And the more game modes we have, the more longevity it will have, which means it will attract more players, more fans, and build a bit bigger a community behind it and backing for future games. So yeah, I think it will certainly be involved. Now we've spoken about Ultimate Team uh, for a good five minutes or so. Let's get over to this article and I would like to give a shout out. Let me just fire up my Instagram to Max Gerard 20 on Instagram, who without being asked to sent me a link to this, which I hadn't come across before. Um, and yeah, big shout out to Max without him sending me it. I might have come across it, but he certainly helped. And it's from The Loadout. Um, basically, it's a Rugby 24 article. I will read through it by Jess Wells, published a couple of weeks ago, titled How Rugby 24 is the start of NACON's new cycle in a World Cup year. So they, she was speaking to Clement Nicolin. Um, I hope I haven't butchered that completely. And uh, yeah, it basically will pick out the key points. Uh, rugby fans haven't been spoiled for choice over the years. That certainly is the case. Um, rugby 24 is being handled by Big Ant Studios, the Australian developer for the first time. Um, and they've picked up the Rugby World Cup license with plenty of fresh ideas. Uh, so let's look at the questions. So the first one. Could you talk us through the development of Rugby 24 and explain why it's changing hands? Um, not really too much there. Ikeo Software um, had been having a go, obviously, with 18, 20, and 22. And they've allowed Big Ant Studios to take over development. And for them, it's the start of a new cycle. Uh, Big Ant Studios is an expert in sports games, and that's why they handed it over to them. Uh... Big Ant Studios have been hinting about Rugby World Cup game for a while. Um, just talking about the Rugby World Cup license, which we know a lot about. Will all the World Cup teams be fully licensed and will they have photogrammetry? There are still a few details to manage on that. We will soon be able to announce the full roster of competition and teams we have in the game. We're not ready to make it public. But what I can already say is that the roster will be bigger than ever and have the highest quality we've ever had in a rugby game as well. Um, 130 teams was the number being branded about, right? Yes, that's just the number for national teams and we have all of the licenses. Big Ant Studios is known for its customization offerings. What will Rugby 24 bring to the table? answered as yes big ant is known for that and will continue we will continue moving in this direction so the user generated content system that they have will be part of the next rugby game on where we want to go forward with that it's giving the players more options in terms of body type shape of face of the player they're creating and so on so that confirms in those first few questions that all 132 teams they've got in this game will have the licenses so you would think 130, that is most, if not all, of the international teams. Um, and that the community creations that Big Ant Studios have will certainly be in the game, which is fantastic. Because with that in the game, we don't need to worry too much about licensing. Of course, it does help and it's better for the casual fan if they have as many licenses as possible in from the start. But if they don't, a couple of clicks and everything will have the proper kits, proper players, proper team names, things like that. So this will potentially be the most complete rugby video game we have, have ever had. Um, is there something in particular as someone that's worked on previous games that you're super excited, excited to get into the hands of players for Rugby 24? There are a lot of things I can't say right now, even if I want to hinting at ultimate team dream team maybe but i think one of the elements is definitely being able to play the world cup because it's a big party for rugby worldwide and then in terms of pure gameplay big ant has really come in with fresh ideas making a rugby game is challenging in terms of game design with a lot of particular phases like line out the rucks the malls etc hard to translate into code and ensure that the player will be having fun playing 
but they have really nice ideas about that and we can't wait to be able to show it to the community. Um, just a little bit there about Rugby 2015, it wasn't great and that they're looking at the community um, as well as license holders, making sure that they don't bring out a poor game. The rugby community looked to two games in particular, Rugby 08, Jonah Lomu Rugby as the go-to rugby games. Are you looking at these games and trying to dissect what made them so good in order to put that into 24? They've replied, yes, it's important. As you say, a lot of people still look at the former EA games fondly. And for us, it's more to analyze why they remembered as good games and knowing what kind of feeling it could evoke. Basically saying it, they are old games, uh, so it, they wouldn't work today, but it, they're looking into what makes them special and hopefully adding some of that to Rugby 24. Uh, they then say that they've talked with some referees and some experts trying to re you know faithfully reproduce tactics and things like that um, there's been a few law changes in recent years you know with the 5022 etc um, they've said that some rule changes are obvious and easy to put into the game um, but it all comes down to how fun it would be for the player as well um, you know in regards to timing of late tackles and things like that ultimately if it doesn't work from a game design point of view they won't have it in um it doesn't mean necessarily that all the details will be totally faithful because what we want is a game to remain fun um, they then talk about concussion and hia protocols um which they mention is a good idea but again it comes down to the fun of the gameplay and do we really want so much realism that the games are stopping for head assessments and things like that um perhaps if they have a high tackle you just have a short little cut scene where a player you know has has him his head checked or something like that um could be on the cards but i know what they mean it's a bit complicated for the player if you start having a hia um protocols where a player's got to go off in game have a test come back on messes around with your substitutions and things like that Perhaps just a little cutscene showing that the player is clearly rattled from the high tackle, but he gets up and carries on. Of course, there's no player welfare in video games because it is just a video game. They were all about making sure the game is smooth and fun to play and having things like that might not um, help. Uh, do they? Then you've got the comment about the president of World Rugby a few years ago mentioning about a licensed video game. And do we think Rugby 24 could plug the gap that he was on about? And they think they hope so, um, particularly with the license they've acquired. And then finally, which is some big news as well, because I know a lot of people have mentioned about women in Rugby 24 and women's teams. Um, the question is, I've noticed there's a real change in sports games at the moment, particularly under the A banner, to lean into women's sports. Is that something you've considered to bring to the rugby series? It's natural to do so. To be transparent, for the first Big Ant game, that will not be the case. Changing studios, changing engines is already a lot of work, and it's not something we're able to do at the moment, but it's definitely something we want to do in the future basically saying that rugby is not like the tennis game where the WTA is just as important as the ATP. Uh, so in the rugby games, possibly in the future, but not for rugby 24. So that is the end of the article. Some small snippets of new information in there, of course, um, particularly in regards to 130 teams all being fully licensed. The Big Ant Studios community creations is in the game for sure, which means we will have every single team, player, league, etc. in the game, whether they're licensed or not. Like I said, of course, for the casual player, it's best to have as many real licenses as possible, particularly if they are doing this ultimate team mode where you it's obviously hard to put created players in the cards and packs and things like that so they will want as many licenses as possible to make that game mode as good as it can be um but yeah community creations is in there and then the the announcement that there will be no women involved in rugby 24 but it's certainly something they're looking for to put into future rugby video games and that is a key statement as well future rugby video games this means that it's certainly not going to end with Rugby 24 and we're on a new cycle now with the Big Ant Studios 
If you look similarly at the cricket games, they seem to come out every couple of years. So hopefully we'll get a Rugby 24, Rugby 26, Rugby 28, etc, etc, which is fantastic because you think, although I'm expecting a big first impression with 24, the more games they produce, the better and the more quality it will have going forward. So that's it for today's video on the latest news on Rugby 24. I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please do drop a like if you have. Please leave a comment down below giving your thoughts on this latest news. And if you haven't already, please do move that subscribe button to stay up to date with everything Rugby 24. And of course, if there's any more news or announcements along the road and on the journey to release in September, being subscribed to the Bears Gamer channel is hopefully where you hear it first with as much detail and information as possible. As soon as any news or information breaks, I will bring it to you in video form on the channel. So stick around for that. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in the virtual virch why did i say it like that virtual scrum man from bristol take two shots of the ting come let it bang like a pistol girl in the party blowing the ting just like a whistle yeah they love their god but where we're from it's more like a crystal because man from bristol man from bristol take two shots of the ting come let it bang like a pistol girl in the party blowing the ting just like a whistle